single person from every tribe, tongue, and people repent for the time is at hand. Hallelujah. The Bible of God says, for let the wicked forsake his way, and the uh, unrighteous man his thoughts, let him return to the Lord, and you shall have mercy upon him. Oh, yes. And to our God, he will abundantly pardon. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. We need the Lord. These are times where we need the Lord. We need his love. We need his peace. We, we, we need his joy. Oh, there is no joy like knowing the Lord. There is no peace like knowing Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He's, he, he is amazing. Yes, you're good. But you're, you're good driver. You're a good driver. Thank you. Thanks for that courtesy. Hallelujah. Yes. God's calling everyone everywhere to, to repent. He's calling everyone to repent. Amen. So he can turn from darkness to his marvelous light. All oh, this world needs his love. All oh, this world needs his peace. All oh, this world needs his grace. Yes, the world needs Jesus. Even though they don't want him, they need him. Amen. Sometimes you you don't want vegetables, but you still need it. Sometimes you don't want to exercise, but you still need it. Sometimes you want to say I'm sorry to, my, to your spouse. Uh, forgive me, I was wrong. Uh, work things out, but you still need to do it. There's a thing that you need to do, even though you don't want to do it. Uh, you, you, you don't want to go to work. You don't want to go to your job sometimes, um, all the time, but you still have to do it. So there are things that we need to do that we may not even want to do. Oh, yes, yeah, so you, you got to take care of your kids, even though sometimes it's, it's a bummer, it's, it's work, it's stress, but but you still need to do it. So likewise, we all, we all need salvation. We may not want Christ, we may not want it, but we still need him. Amen. Oh, yes, we need him. We need salvation. Hallelujah. This world needs salvation. This world is broken. This world is messed up. This world is damaged. This world is dysfunctional. Oh, how we need the Lord. How we need his peace. How we need his grace. How we need his power. Yes, oh, how we need him. Amen. The Lord's calling everyone anywhere to repent. Yeah. Oh, thank God the preacher came out today. Thank God the preacher came out today. Because I see people suffering. I see people in need of something more than money, more than random sex, more than more than some, some parties. You need Jesus. You, oh, you know you need Jesus. You don't need an alcohol bottle, man. You don't need that. It's killing your liver, man. It's killing your cancers. I mean, your, your, your kidneys, man. Oh, live longer to see your grandchildren. Live longer for your grandchildren, man. Oh, you need the alcohol, man. Oh, put down the bottom, pick up a Bible, man. Put down the bottom, pick up a Bible, man. Hallelujah. Oh, this one thinks they need your alcohol. They say they need their cigarettes. Oh, you don't need it. You're killing your heart. You're killing your brain cells. You need to be healthy. You need to be wholesome. Oh, Jesus calling everyone to repent and say, no, put, put it down. It's killing you. It's killing you prematurely, man. Oh, hallelujah. We need the Lord today, man. Yes. Oh, we, we, we're afraid of getting uh, COVID-19, but we drink alcohol, it suppresses your immune system. We, we smoke cigarettes, it suppresses your immune system. So you're more likely to get uh, COVID-19 when you are just indulging in liquor, when you're indulging in, in cigarettes, when you're in, in, indulging in, in, in random sex and orgies. Uh-oh. When, when you know a lot of guys they didn't want to want to engage in anal sex with other men and i think it's, it's making it exposed to the to diseases so you want to get covid 19 because of your filthy living what else a, a, a bad attitude make you more likely to get covid 19. uh bad a bad temper worry some all the time worried stressed out angry Makes it more likely to get uh, any any disease, frankly. And not just COVID-19. It could be hard. Oh, God bless you, man. I love you, man. I love you. Why you, why you do that to me, man? With that middle finger? 
Where is that, man? What monkey? Monkey what? Monkey doodle? Monkey see? Monkey do, man? Well, I just say love people, man. Forgive people, man. How that's so bad? What, what, like what? What's stupid? You're trying to be funny? No, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be informative. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to help the, the, the world. What are you doing to make the world a better place? What are you doing? I'm going to deliver some food. That's good, man. But the world needs more than food, man. They need principles. They need wisdom. They need wisdom, man. Why are you so mad, man? You, you got demons, man. I'll cast them out right now. I'll cast out those devils right now, man. It's up to you, man. You're going to die one day and answer to God. Simple as that. Amen. The world wants their gangster rap music. They want their porno. They want their their, their movies and cinema. They don't want God. Guess what? You're going to die leave it all behind. You're going to take your last breath and leave it all behind. All that doesn't matter, man. At the end of the day, you work, you work, you have your sex, you get all your orgasm, all you want. Smoke, drink, you're still going to die and answer to God. It's as simple as that, man. And the, the, the word of God says, let the wicked forsake his way. And he don't want to forsake his way. He, he want to stay in his sin. He want, he want to stay doing wrong. He want to stay, listen to other things, uh, but, but not God. Oh, but we need the Lord, man. We need the Lord, man. <laughs> is, there, is there any public clock around this? I want, I want, got a little bit of time. <laughs> I got an appointment. Oh, man. Amen. I time it properly. I time it properly. Yeah. So the world, the world is just, is just, is just going downhill, man. The world is getting sick, man. So I, I, I'm out here because you know Christ is the ultimate doctor. He's the ultimate spiritual doctor. You know, if I was like you, I wouldn't care about you. I, I, I I'd just be uh, playing my video games, ignoring you, being on my phone, not caring about you. I'd be, I'd be focused on my own little life, my own self, my own little, my little sphere of existence. No, but the preacher loves people. He goes out to warn people, to encourage people, to rebuke the people. Oh, because every day I, I hear about it on the news, man. I hear about the, the crime, the violence. I hear about the domestic violence. I hear about the suicides. I hear about the, the addictions. I hear about the broken homes, the adulteries, the depression. I hear about it. So here I, here I am, offering a solution, offering some words of recovery, offering some words of exhortation when most of the world don't care. And, oh, that, the way the world is always going to be that way. And it's true. It will be. Oh, get away. But guess what? If I can save even one life, one life today for committing suicide one life from watching that porno and eventually um cheating on, on his on his wife or 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 or, or, or her, her husband say one person from um overdosing on on cocaine or heroin i've done my job one person there's one from going off the deep end for one from cutting somebody out getting into a fight and then getting getting um I got some cops. If it's not one person, I know I've done my job as a, as a spiritual cop. I've not done my job as a preacher of righteousness. One person, that's all that's needed. Because most of the world will ignore this message. The Bible already said most of the world will ignore this message and hate this message. But I'm not surprised. The Bible already says it. Narrow is the way that leads to life. Few that be that find it. Yes, few find it. Few are reading the Bibles, studying the Bibles, few going to church, few are studying the Bibles, few are playing gossip music in their homes, few are waiting to, until marriage to have sex, few are... God bless you, what's up, man? God bless you. God bless you, man. You draw me to you, bro. Amen, man, amen. You draw me to you, bro. Yes, sir. I need a prayer from you, bro. What's that, man? Whatever prayer you can give me right now, bro. Amen, what's that, again? This is a pack of new ports. You need, to, you need to get deliverance from that, man. All right. By the, by the grace of God, let's pray. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this day, for your power, your love, and your mercy. Lord, whatever is going on in, the, in this man's life, I pray you may give him peace, strength, and deliverance, Lord. That smoking is killing his, 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 his cells, oh God. And I pray you may give him freedom and liberation from that, oh God. I I pray for you have a closer walk with you i pray increase lord in, in his mind in his in his in his in his body in his relationships i come against anger i come against suicide i come against depression i come against anxiety i come against anything that's unlike you oh god i pray you have a closer walk with you oh god and before you take his last breath and dies that his walk with you will be sealed and secure that you, you will use him as a channel of love of light of blessing and healing use him mighty oh god for wonderful exploits to do wonderful things and to share the, the good news with others around him. God, oh God, restore him, oh God. 
Heal him, oh God. Anything that, that, that is bothering him, oh God. Give him peace of mind. Give him encouragement, oh God. Give him joy in his soul, oh God. This world can be so depressing. This world can be so angry, so hostile. But I pray the peace of the Lord will come upon him and circle him and, and fuel him, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We praise you, oh God. We glorify you, oh God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you. God Appreciate bless you, man. God bless you. God hey, bless hey, you. hey, don't give up, man. I know it's not easy to stop smoking. I know it's not easy no, to, to put any habit, but guess so what? Much. One day at a time, every day pray to God to give you the power to overcome it, okay? Right, you, I see people do it over and over again. Don't give up, man. That's it, man. Don't give up, all right? God bless you, man. God bless you. Yeah, amen. Yes, sir. Like I said, if one person responds, one person responds, I did what I had to do. I did my mission. I did my duty. I won't be here for very much longer. But hallelujah, the Lord is calling you home. The Lord is calling you to get your life right with him today. Today is the day of, of salvation. In this world of, of trauma, this world of, of people are afraid of, of um, invisible diseases. And people are suicidal and people are depressed and lonely and go to one night stands and orgies and people are engaging in sorceries and homosexuality and adulteries and, and uh, addicted to all sorts of um, um, opioids and, 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 and feminines. Listen, we need to get closer to the Lord. The power is in the Lord. The ultimate power. Guess what? There is no air without God. No sunlight without God. No land to walk on without God. Hallelujah. I thank God for the people that that bless us, help us in this world, but we cannot forget the ultimate authority that's beyond all this, beyond the big buildings, beyond the skyscrapers, beyond the fancy Lamborghini and Rolls Royce, beyond the, the, the nice um hundred hundred thousand dollar um year job, beyond the, the sexy ladies and handsome men, beyond all the world has to offer, the TV, the video games, the PlayStation, whatever it is, it's something beyond this world is knowing that before we die, are we right with God? Is our soul right with the Lord? Hallelujah. Some of you are workaholics. No time for your, for your woman. No time for your man. No time for your children. And they need you. They're suffering. Oh, they need you, my man. They need you, my brother. They need you, my sister. They need your 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 your, your um your communication. They need your time. They need you. Don't let the rush for pleasure, the rush for money, keep you away from what really matters. Guess what? You're gonna die. Don't forget that. Understand your terminality. Understand your mortality. Understand that there's more to life than there's a status quo. Amen. There's more to life than the status quo. What really matters? Family. What really matters? Love. What really matters? Forgiveness. What really matters? Getting better. Building your mind. Building your character. Building your business. Building yourself. Building other people as well. That's what really matters in this world. More than everything else that the world has to offer you. Hallelujah. Any more folks on building your video game character, your Call of Duty, your Fortnite character. What about your character? What about what about you? Uh oh. Little video game fa fantasy fake video game character. But your mind is more important than that. Your character is more important than that. I like you play a video game, but you're still stressed out, depressed. Baby mama drama. Give you trauma. Yeah. Some of you wonder why my man, why, why my girl can't be faithful? Why can't these men be loyal? One fact is pornography. No, there was that porno, man. Say no, say, no, say no to the porno, man. Guess what? It makes you more easily susceptible to, to the white, to the wild of, of the enemy. How it starts? A look. Uh oh. How does anyone, how does anyone who is cheating, how, how does it start? Looking. Looking. Uh huh. Looking is how it starts with, 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 with anyone cheating. King David in the Bible had an issue with looking too much. Uh huh. And one day that's the next, and I told you for another man's wife. How many men are here? You cheated, why? Looking, you look too much. You looked a little too much. Went, went to certain places, invited her over. Uh-uh, one thing led to the next, and you were caught. Some of y'all caught with your, with, your, with your drawers down, literally. Caught with, with your underwear down. Would you slung out, literally? You know why? One step at a time leads to cheating, leads to infidelity. In the Bible, King David kept looking 
and especially us men, we're very visually stimulated people. One look, girl gotta look sexy, walk with some nice lingerie, tight skirt on, big booty so it, and we just all in it. Cause the eyes, the Bible says, why should I behold a fear maiden? I made a cut it with my eyes. Why should I keep on beholding a young maiden? There'll be far less divorces, far less broken homes if these men will be the leaders in their home and stop lusting and lust of all these whores on these streets and these digital whores in the porn industry. There'll be more faithful, honorable relationships. But no, we don't want to do it, do we? We want to have a fun on the side. We want to have a little cheap throw on the side. But it doesn't satisfy. You get STDs, you get unwanted babies. You have to sneak and be secretive. It's stress. It's stress, man. You need to work on your marriage, man. Go to a counselor. Go to a therapist. Go to a pastor. Go get help. If he should not please you right, go to the root of the issue. Don't ignore it. Talk about it. Get help. Hallelujah. Confess your sin and be healed. As the Bible says, confession. Yes, hallelujah. When people have faithful relationships, it's, it's better for society. It's better on, on people. It's better. It's healthier. Long term. Hallelujah. We're going to be faithful. And ultimately, be faithful to God. Be faithful to His Word. Be faithful and live the best you can live in, in your life. Hallelujah. I love you. I love you. I'm out here at Madison Square Garden, a place where people come here to get entertained. Entertained by what? What do you got here? Music shows and what else? Sports? I don't know. What else? I, I, whatever, whatever's over here, I, I don't really go over here. Whatever to be entertained, but the world is so broken despite your entertainment. Crime. I saw uh, on the paper the other day that the crime in New York has risen this year. Oh, how sad. You're so entertained by what's on TV and Netflix and HBO and, and, and the, the new PS5. You know. The porno and the sex movies, you're so entertained, yet still broken. Entertained, yet still depressed. Entertained, yet still suicidal. Entertained, yet still can't keep your zipper up. Still cussing out people. No self-control. So entertained. But not educated. Not filled with love and joy and purpose. Beyond some paycheck. Beyond your business. Beyond, what else is there more to life than, 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 than the lights and glam of New York City? In other, in other fancy cities, what else? Christ said, labor for the bread that, 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 that does not perish. Eventually, uh, money gets stolen. Eventually, you die and your, your loved ones fight in court over your possessions. Things get stolen. Hurricanes come and destroy cars, tornadoes come, floods come and destroy property. Labor for the bread that does not perish. The bread in the kingdom of God. The riches in the kingdom of God. Are we all stewards? Are we all stewards? You manage a business, money, wealth, investments, Roth IRA, 401k, mutual funds, whatever it is. Eventually you die, leave all behind to, to the next people. And they die, and they die, and they die. So who really do all these things are that we have? The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It's not really yours. You're a temporary steward. You're a steward of all your possessions in your life. The Lord ultimately is the final, is the final possessor of your possessions. So don't, so don't forget God. I love you all. I got a, I, I got a little appointment. All right, so God bless you. Keep the God first place. Keep the Lord first place. We need him in, in, in his life. And, if anyone needs a word of prayer, let me know. Any questions, let me know. Amen. Pastor Woodhouse over here trying to do, handle the Lord's business. Because the Lord says we are, we are co-laborers with him. Working together with him to build up society. Build up your communities. Build up your home environment. Build up back this city. Not, not just about technology. I'm talking about principles. Morals. Hallelujah. I know sometimes people don't want to hear it. I know you people get mad, upset. I'm not here to be a friend. I'm here to preach the truth, whether you like me or not. They hated Jesus because he spoke the truth. They hated Jesus, so I know they're going to hate me. They're going to hate me when I say that, that being a homosexual is wrong. It's wrong. 
Transgenderism, wrong. Wrong. Being a porn star, wrong. Etc. You're gonna hate me? By God, is speak the truth in love. Sin is sin, whether you like it or not, believe it or not. Sin is sin. Right is right. Hallelujah. There's light and there's darkness. Simple as that. Much love. I, I love you all. God bless you. God be with you. Much love. Come to Jesus. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Amen. I pray the power of God be upon you. Power of God be upon you, my brother, right there, man. God bless you, man. God bless you. Amen. Keep God first place. He loves you. Keep him first place in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray the power of God be upon you. I pray the power of God, his love will flow through your life. I pray you'll, 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 you'll experience his love. We need love. We hate people. A lot of us hate people. I, I hate it every day on the streets. We need love. We need joy. We need peace. We need, we need direction. We need wisdom. Hallelujah. Put, come to the Lord today. So, say, Lord, give me your peace. Give me your, give me, give me your, your character. Give me, give me your mind. I come against any alcoholism. I come against suicidal thought. I come against depression. I come against anxiety. Hallelujah. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed. Come against, come against marijuana smoking. Come against whoring around. Come against homosexuality. Come against sorceries. Come against abortion. I come against anything, any unclean spirit that's not like God. Any unwholesome thought that's not like God. Hallelujah! I come against it right now in Jesus' name. Be healed. Be transformed. Healing, love, joy on these streets. Healing, love, deliverance. I pray healing, for, healing, healing for the homeless. Healing for these gangsters and fuck on these streets. Healing. Oh, get cleaned up, drug, drug addicts get cleaned up go to a center go to a place for healing go get cleaned up go to a center far far away from this crazy city get healed drug addicts get healed marijuana smokers get healed whores and pimp daddies get healed hallelujah when are you gonna say enough is enough sick and tired sick and tired oh go back home to your wife husbands go back home to your to your to your husbands ladies oh be faithful to your spouse oh oh, oh. Be healed up. No more drug. No more drug dealing. No more. No more. Sipping on Hennessy and vodka and Grey Goose. It's killing your liver. It's killing your kidneys. Be free. Be sober-minded. Oh, hallelujah! You need God. You need His love. You need His joy. Get it? Hallelujah! Oh yes, you need it. Come, to, come to Jesus today. Today is a salvation. T tomorrow's our promise. Every day is precious. Every day is a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. Glory to God. We need his love. We need his joy. Come to Jesus. I say, I need you, Jesus. I need your love. I need your peace. I know I'm depressed and suicidal. I need your peace. Come to Jesus. Say, Lord, I need you. I need your power. I need your love, your joy, your spirit. I come to Oh, be free, gangsters. Be free, thugs. Be free, wannabes. Be free, pimp daddies. Be free, whores. Be free, abortionists. Be free, homosexuals. Be free, be free, be free from your angry ways, your hostile ways, your dirty ways. Be free. Live whole. Live clean. Live wholesome in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Healing over this city. Be free from your alcohol drinking. Be free from your smoking. Oh, God, you need power. You're, 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 you're enslaved with your alcohol. And slave to your drugs, and slave to your alcohol, your porn watching. Be free. Hallelujah. We all need freedom, man. Mental freedom, emotional freedom. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, be free. Be free. Hallelujah. Much love to you all. Much love to you all. I love you all. Amen. Amen.